Hello and welcome to Anatomy of Marriage, Marriage Mornings. I'm your host, Melanie Studley. Good morning, my name is Seth Studley. I'm a licensed marriage and family therapist and today is day 72 and the title is called Stay Sexy. Oh, that was so confusing. Sorry. Uh -huh. Today's episode is brought to you by Ultimate Intimacy app. Check them out at ultimateintimacy.com. And we're going to be talking about the app today because it is Sexy Saturday. That's right. Um, if you're new here, welcome. We have over 100 podcasts, almost 200 episodes about various topics, mm -hmm. ranging from family of origin, <laughs> communication, all sorts of things, even community. Amen. That's right. And um, so check those out. They're out for you, and we well, love you, are. and we're glad Ultimate you're here. Intimacy app. Go definitely 100% check it out today on your Saturday. And every day, you can join us live on Facebook. We are live on Facebook right now, so you can do this every single day. Check it out. And every day, we do four things. That's we right. We do a prayer, a past gratitude, a future hope, and a goal, and we encourage you to do these four things with your spouse and to talk about our topic. That's mm -hmm. why we're doing this. So, all right. Let's uh, pray. Why don't you go? Okay. Dear Lord, thank you so much for all of our blessings. Thank you for yesterday, the gift that that was. Help us to have a wonderful day today and to bring light and joy into the world. Amen. Amen. Um, past gratitude, what's yours? <laughs> you always put me on the spot. I forgot. I didn't think of one. I am thankful of the fun stuff. We got to go up to Seattle yesterday and film some videos for the premarital series that we're having. Super and exciting. And hung out in Seattle with our friends and we got some good stuff done. Mm -hmm. So I am thankful that you were present with me and just completely on board so um that's a good you're thing. welcome i'm thankful that you are a generous person and friend so like we did filming forever and then we took our the guy who filmed with us james mm -hmm. out to supper dinner <laughs> out to supper sounds weird right. we took him out to dinner and i'm just very thankful that you've never been like a penny pincher or weird or like people owe you i'll spend and some money girl i know you will but i'm thankful <laughs> for it uh future hope is that i hope today goes really great we, mm -hmm. our kids are doing stuff with friends we're gonna do some things and i just mm -hmm. i hope that today is joyful and fun it's sunny it's sunny where we are we hope that you have a good day today too so and my goal is to uh have fun and do some work good but, so today's topic is stay sexy mm. and again like we said it's sexy saturday the ultimate intimacy app is a tool we're actually using in our own relationship hey, to have a better uh, like sex life and intimacy in our marriage I'll always stay sexy okay and the idea for that for the topic of stay sexy came from the concept <clears throat> of that like in a marriage usually one of the partners and it doesn't have to be male or female but usually there's a crock pot and there's a microwave that's right someone gets turned on like that and the other person needs to simmer for like a hundred hours before mm -hmm. they can do anything sexual and that's totally fine in fact it's very normal it is very normal especially <clears throat> after kids when we don't have as well when we have all this stuff going on in the house we got to clean we got to pay bills we got to do this sometimes the last thing you're thinking about is sex so um <laughs> i don't know you can go to number two oh yeah okay <laughs> we'll say okay so with the idea of crock pots versus microwaves the thing that i want so let's talk about who's a microwave, who's a crock pot. I'm a crock pot. I'm a microwave. Like 100%. Right. So for me, the thing that I thought of right away was like, you can't make supper if you don't plug the crock pot in. Like if you literally do nothing, right. you're not eating that roast at 9 p.m. Ain't oh. nobody eating that roast at 9 p.m. Oh man, okay. I mean, it's the crock pot metaphor, what? That's right. <laughs> so um, <laughs> that was the thought that I had was like, we need to actually remember in the morning to plug in the crock pot. That's right. To, to like put the stuff in the actual crock pot so that right. by the time we want to eat supper, we've got supper, right? right? So start foreplay in the morning, you can not, say? I mean, not foreplay. It's not that. So the, like I said, the idea of today's title is stay sexy. Right. And that means, when I'm saying stay, I mean, just don't lose it. Like stay mm -hmm. Keep it in your head. Make sure your crock pot is plugged in. Don't lose or what's the opposite of stay? Leave? <laughs> don't yeah. like don't like not be sexy or mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Like don't abandon sexiness. Yes. <laughs> don't forget to plug in the crock pot. <laughs> because it's vital. Like for me, I, I it makes intimacy so much of a challenge. It makes it a mm -hmm. chore. Mm -hmm. It makes me resentful. It makes me not want to do anything. Right. It makes me want to go straight to bed and be like, never mind, bye. Okay, so I'm going off script here and you'll get mad, but staying sexy for you is like like sometimes I've you, you say, Okay, let's let's maybe remind you in the morning, like, hey, tonight 
let's be together. Just think about it all day kind of thing. That's what you think foreplay is, though. No, 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 I don't. It's, so it, it's rem <laughs> it's rem not forgetting to do that. That might be on the horizon. Yeah, later. but let me tell you how what my analogy is for that. <clears throat> so even if you're a microwave and your partner is a crockpot or vice versa, you still need some flavor in your food. Okay. You need spices. Ah. And the spices can be the same, right? Right. Like, it doesn't... You, just, you see what I'm saying? So Why I'm saying that? So it could be, like, something special, like a, spe a, a sweet text. Yes. Is a, is a spice. Yes, and you flavoring. have to identify your spices. Okay. Okay? So chocolate. your flavors. Always chocolate. <laughs> uh, but you need to identify the things between each other mm -hmm. that actually... That you enjoy eating, I guess right. is the best way to put it. Like... If you hate Mediterranean food, which who would hate Mediterranean food? But anyway, right. if you for some reason hated it and that's all I ever served, uh -huh. we're going to have a problem. You're right. never going to want to eat the dinner that right. we have together, right? So identify the things that you actually really enjoy mm -hmm. and spend some time talking about it. This isn't inappropriate hey, or weird. It's yeah. not, um, doesn't have to be uncomfortable. Just okay, like, let's make model, it like Okay, let's model some things like chocolate <laughs> okay just like a, a text or a reminder of like hey let's get in bed early tonight and hang out which basically means talk hang out actually hang out mm -hmm. and also have sex uh i mean that's what you tend to do you tend to say i want to have sex and then it's like well great cool great i want a million dollars what does that have to do with anything and what i would love to see happen yeah. is for you to tell me the spices that you like like okay. like you could Things tell that me i like yeah, like, I love the smell of your hair, and I love to, like, oh, okay. rub your shoulders, whatever. Okay. I mean, you can let me know the spices that you enjoy right. about moi. Moi. Um, okay, I'll tell you. I love the... No, you don't need to do it on our Facebook Live. That's for our sure. <laughs> Let's just say I that. Care. I know I you don't care. <laughs> but, so, I think it's really important for couples to find their common flavor. <laughs> Kenan says flavor enhancer is MSG and Josh <laughs> says that hair. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> that was good. Um, but so think of finding your flavor together mm -hmm. and, and having conversations that are safe and kind and loving and respectful. Oh my gosh, it worked. It didn't go away. The phone rang. <gasps> are you guys still there? Let us know if you're still there or if it uh, ended. I cannot believe the phone rang. It says it's still live, so we will keep on rolling. I guess. Okay. okay. Keep on rolling. But anyway, so... Wait, the man. other part of this, oh, my phone totally just rang okay. and it worked. Okay, it's working. Okay, so What's up, Heidi? Um, so another thing too is yes. we have the season one workbook from from all of season one, and mm -hmm. we have actual questions in that workbook that are geared towards all of this stuff we're talking about. Mm -hmm. Towards like it's not using the spice analogy, but right. um, you know thing like touch that you actually want. Um, touch me here, never touch me there. The words that you like to hear and don't like to hear, that's really, really, really important right. that you set those boundaries right away, that you have conversations about it that are helpful and loving and kind. And I will say, I am always super uncomfortable talking about this topic. Mm -hmm. I say words like, oh, weird, gross. Yeah, you and, do. And I... people email in and they're like, why do you keep saying that? I'm like, because yeah. I'm uncomfortable. So, so, okay, think about it. That uncomfortableness, you saying weird, gross, or whatever, translates directly into my perception of it. Uh, yeah. I don't want to do things that are gross to you. <laughs> so, <laughs> or, or, or around you, like, I'm not going to like, you know, wear my underwear and all the time because you said that that's a break, a break one yeah. time, right? I'm not going to like fart and burp and just okay. say, like do gross things because so if, if I perceive you thinking yeah. of sex as like gross and icky, then I'm not going to pursue mm -hmm. you. So here's the cool part. We can solve that with the Ultimate Intimacy app. We can yes. use the conversation starters because there's there's oh, conversation yeah. starters in the app about intimacy, which uh -huh. it's awkward to me, but when we started doing that the other night, we we were doing the non-intimacy ones, the ones that were like uh -huh. goals. And well, we started out with that. Yeah. And that, and I'm not just being weird here, that was actually legitimately fun. It was we, really we fun. We talked about all, all kinds of, of stuff, not even relating to sex, and then we moved into some uh, some of the intimacy questions, mm -hmm. and it was really cool. Yeah, so we so we really, really encourage you to check out ultimateintimacy.com and get the app. It's totally free. Mm -hmm. There's a paid version if you want one, but there's also a game, like a sex game that is appropriate for your partner and you to play. Right. And it's not, there's nothing inappropriate on the app itself. So, uh, but stay sexy, don't lose it. Plug in your crock pot, figure out the spices mm -hmm. you like, Thank you for hanging out with us this morning. We have got to go. If you like what we're doing, please rate and review the podcast on iTunes and share it with your friends. It That's is right. so helpful. Y'all are going to have an amazing day. We're going to have an amazing day. All right. You get Let a car. Know. You Talk get a car. You get a car. I, I hate how short these are, but I we'll know. be on Facebook all day. Instagram, message us, whatever. All right. All right. Peace Bye. out, people.